Vacuum is the uh, science of nothing. You might think, well, nothing doesn't create any great challenges. Hello, I'm Robert Pierce. Um, I'm in charge of the uh, ETA Vacuum Group and hence responsible for uh, vacuum on ETA. So ETA will really be one of the, the biggest and most complex vacuum systems uh, ever built on Earth. Um, the main vacuum chamber has a vacuum volume of uh, uh, 1400 uh, meters cubed. We're trying to generate uh, temperatures which are um, many millions of degrees and uh, vacuum has uh, a number of good properties. Um, of course the first one is that uh, it's an insulator, a bit like uh, your thermos flask uh, has vacuum in, it insulates uh, that temperature from the, uh, the wall of the uh, vessel. The second um, reason we need uh, a, a vacuum vessel and a good vacuum within that vessel is that one of the key things for the plasma is its uh, purity and um, vacuum uh, helps in, in giving you that purity. To make a vacuum on ETA, um, it's, uh, it's a little bit like uh, your, your vacuum cleaner. We use vacuum pumps. Um, so we start with mechanical pumps. Um, and then we move on, uh, once we've got uh, uh, a vacuum of a certain level, to uh, using um, what we call cryogenic pumps. Now cryogenic pumps are again a little bit like your fridge. If you notice on your fridge, frosts up, if you uh, leave the door open, all the particles of uh, moisture stick to the, um, the cold surfaces. In the cryogenic pump we just have a big, very cold surface and uh, the particles sit, stick to that surface. So making um, a large vessel like ETA um, tight for, for, with no leaks um, from a vacuum point of view is a, uh, a very uh, large uh, challenge. In terms of leakage into the vessel then uh, for ETA we have to ensure that uh, all of the um, assembly and the design and the manufacturing and the handling um, of all the components is, is such that we're, we're leak free and uh, th this requires working to high standards across all the different uh, parties. People think of vacuum as uh, being nothing and hence that there's no uh, forces involved. But um, if you create a vacuum then you produce uh, 10 tonnes of force per um, metre squared. So you can imagine on ETA where we have a very large vessel, uh, we have a ver very large forces from the, uh, from the outside um, effectively compressing uh, that vessel. 